But what's up ladies and gentlemen, we are back with another role with one of our black belt professors, D. So here she's gonna take a very, very low stance and I'm going to take a low stance as well. What I wanna do is grab the collars right here and uh, set up a closed guard position. So I try to go for an ankle pick right there. She uh, nimbly dodges that and um, gets really, really low. So what I decided to do is take my left leg, stick it in the hip right there and start to play a closed guard position. But she has an elbow knee connection and starts to uh, stop me from get getting that closed guard. So what I do here is I switch to um, uh, double collars and then I switch to one collar and grab the ankle for a De La Hiva position right here So I bring my knee inside and what I want to do is open up that arm right there and start to play um, uh, A position, but I'm able to get the close guard right there So I uh, decide to start playing the close guard So she's going to start bringing her knee in for the oh, to open up the guard and uh, I'm trying to bring that arm across the center line But she uh, steps over my leg. So I realize I'm not gonna get that close guard So I immediately sit out and then come back in and I opt to start playing an open guard position. So I've got double uh, double sleeve grip right here, and um, I'm trying to find a home for my feet in her bicep right here and another one on her hip. Um, but she's doing a very good job of keeping that elbow knee connection and stopping me from playing a spider guard position right here. So here I'm able to get the spider guard position. And what I'm gonna do with my left leg is put it uh, to her ankle and try to sweep her over one way. And here I'm able to get it and I try to come up, uh, but she does a good job of getting into an S mount position here and stopping me from uh, establishing the sweep and she gets back up. So then I start to opt for uh, a deep De La Hiva position and try to bring her down to her knees again so I can start uh, figuring out how to pass. So here I've got my left arm under her leg and I want to grab that sleeve and feed it to my other arm for a sit up guard position, uh, but she's able to get out of that. But right here I've got the lapel uh, in between her legs and what I want to do is work my way to the back and uh, try to take her down. So what I'm doing is I'm keeping my distance and I'm trying to get to the back, but she uh, basically squares up with me by sitting uh, to her butt. So here I'm gonna get the deep De La Hiva uh, X position right here, and I'm going to try to pull her over and uh, get the sweep, but she's doing a good job of posting and basing with her left arm, stopping me from getting that sweep there. So here I'm uh, starting to play like a matrix position. I've got the lapel and I wanna feed that leg uh, in between, uh, behind her knee, and I'm able to pull, her, pull, pull on her pants, excuse me, and uh, get the sweep right here and come up uh, for the two points. And uh, now I'm gonna start passing from my knees here. So I'm gonna start breaking those grips. Uh, that's something I, I need to start working on or get better at, because I usually um, don't really address those, but I'm actively breaking grips. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start doing that uh, tie in Dalpra uh, leg staple passing right here. So I've got uh, grips on both the pant legs and what I wanna do is force those legs to the ground, staple them uh, to the mat and start passing uh, her guard. But she's got a very, very dynamic spider guard. So what I'm trying to do here is keep, the, keep her feet out of my biceps, out of my um, elbow joints and stop her from setting up the spider while I start to pass. So right here, I'm just uh, kind of getting my speed back. I was actually sick and that's why I didn't post any videos before. Um, uh, last week, I uh, had, had, the, had the vid, so I had to uh, take some time off jujitsu. So this is my first day back, so I'm trying to get my timing right, get my speed right after taking uh, pretty much like a 12 days off. So let's get back to the video here. So right here, I'm stapling that knee, stopping her from making any connections right here. I'm kind of just sitting on, on that leg and I'm trying to leg drag uh, and get to the other side, but she's doing a very good job of keeping me in front of her. So I'm able to kick my leg out and I still have that pant leg. So I grab the other one and I'm gonna start um, basically putting my head down, getting into a tripod uh, position stance here and just really, really trying to pressure and staple that leg to the mat and start walking around the guard. Uh, and she's doing a very good job of keeping me in front of her and stopping me from uh, establishing uh, a passing position or getting to one side. So here I'm starting to walk, I'm starting to walk, I'm starting to walk and I come down and I wanted to trap the leg but I wasn't able to do it and uh, gave her the spider guard position again. Uh, I basically get out of that position, get into the leg drag and I'm able to solidify uh, the side control here by sitting my hip closer to her, her hip and I get the side control position here. So now what I wanna do is play my same old boring game, feed that lapel to my far arm, but she's able to get her knees in front of her so I have to abandon that and I look at the time, I think there's like 10, maybe 20 seconds left. And uh, what I want to do now is start establishing that uh, leg staple pass again. So right here, I thought I almost got swept, or I thought I was going to get swept, but I'm able to come back up to my knees. And right here, I start going for an esteem lock, and I'm sitting and I'm trying to get that esteem lock, but she comes up, and I realize that if I go down, I'm gonna lose two points. So I immediately bail right there, 
and uh, then we kind of just reset. So she's sitting very, very low. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spring back, spring forward, grab that ankle, and get the sweep right there. And uh, force the leg inside. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be the end of the roll. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. And I'm sorry that I wasn't able to post last week. I actually had COVID, so I wasn't able to train. And I didn't have any backup videos to post. So I just decided to take the 11 days off and uh, get my body right and get my mind right. Uh, but we're going to be posting again. So stay tuned for more videos. I'm going to be dropping some Um Plata escape uh, techniques and um, some over-under stuff uh, this month. So, uh, thank you guys for watching a few of the takeaways. Um, I'm just trying to get my timing back. I'm breaking those grips. Um, uh, what I needed to work on is not letting her get, uh, the spider guard position. That's something that, uh, has been coming up when I try to do the leg stable pass. Maybe I'm not doing it fast enough, but I need to be able to stop them from setting up a spider guard position from the leg stable pass. But other than that, I think I did uh, pretty well for my uh, first day back after being sick. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys for watching and thank you guys for supporting the channel. It means more than you know, and I will catch you on the next one. Have a wonderful day. Peace.